Hello everybody and welcome back. Thanks for tuning in to another episode here in the series. My name is Dominic and I'm the host of the Android Factory. Last episode we went ahead and handled when the user clicks on our phone number row here. Uh, we invoke our view model, set call intent. We go ahead and create a uh, an intent to basically launch the call, you know, the contacts application that's here, uh, you know, with the phone number already filled out and whatnot. So. Uh, you know, if you missed it, I'll put a card in the top right because it is worth it to maybe see or watch that for this uh, episode because we kind of built out a lot of plumbing to specifically uh, emit particular intents to our fragment uh, and, and basically have the fragment kick things off. So in the next one here, we, we have this location information available to us and, um, you know, kind of wanted to launch Google Maps in the same vein. So as we get started here, please like the video to help me out, subscribe if you're brand new, sit back and relax, it should be a quick one. So online, real quick, found this, uh, this content here. We can very easily come up with the content for our, uh, you know, the URI for our uh, intent that we need. We can see that we have the geo colon. In the last episode, we had a tel, T-E-L colon to specify a phone number. And here we're specifying a geolocation. I believe that then this is latitude and then longitude. So if we have the direct coordinates, we can very easily launch an intent. Uh, we want to have, you know, an action view. We can optionally set our package here. We'll talk about that in a minute. And then we just go ahead and start the activity. So realistically, we just need these few things. So I'm going to copy them, bounce back to Android Studio, create a little function here. Let's go with send location intent to kind of keep with the theme of the one above. We have our view model scope dot launch. And we'll just go ahead and paste our content in. So obviously we don't want to have our hard coded latitude and longitude. We need to get that information from the store. Uh, and then we have a package name here. So I'm going to comment this out for the time being, but we'll chat about it in a moment. Let's go ahead and just, uh, you know, change around some of this stuff. So we'll say intent uh, URI, geo, and then at this point we're going to need our uh, latitude and then longitude. We obviously don't have this information yet, so we're going to go ahead and uh, figure that out. We're going to copy this code right here that's basically going to get us our phone number, uh, which allows us to read the store. Uh, and then fetch something from the store there. But instead of our auth, or sorry, instead of our user phone number, we're going to see what do we have? We have address, and then from here we have lat and long. So I'm just going to go ahead and define this as address. We will then call this uh, address here. Perfect. And then we'll obviously just change that. Then we can say uh, val latitude equals address dot lat and val launch yep so we've gone ahead and just specified all the info we need maybe we can just put this in line here because why not uh, i'm gonna have to open up the curly braces there and then the same thing with our uh, longitude then we can remove those extra variables sorry for the confusion and then we go ahead and we create our map intent with that information now, we don't do this uh, set package idea here, but the idea behind this set package is that if you actually know the you know, Android package name that you care to invoke, specifically the activity that you care to invoke, um, you, know, you can set that package, you can set that information here. And so from a maps perspective, right, if the user had Waze or if they have, um, I don't even know what another Maps app would be. But if there's multiple applications that can basically handle this intent where it's action view and where the, U, the URI is geo colon, um, you know, they'll get basically a, a little bottom sheet or something where they can select which application they wanna use. When you go ahead and define a particular package, now we're saying, no, I, I want this application to open it, uh, even if there are other ones on the device that can do that. Now, a valid thing, not concern, but thing to recognize here is you can then call mapintent.resolveActivity passing in your package manager, and that will result in a nullable operation. Uh, if it is null, that means that this particular package is not available on the device. Uh, and then if it returns non-null, that means that, you know, this package is on the device and therefore we can very easily start the activity for that intent. 
the reason that that's valuable is because um, if you specify a package and that package is not on the device, it will crash at runtime. Obviously not what we want to do. So in my mind right now, it's not really the end of the world. I don't think we need to, um, to try to specify a Google Maps. I'll leave it here for you, comment it out uh, so that you can see it. But you know, to some degree, I just want any app that can open it and I don't want to have to deal with um, you know, the, the additional check and whatnot. Last little bit here is uh, just updating our call site to say viewmodel.locationintent. We can then also just clean this up here. And now we have all of this stuff, you know, in line, one line, very clear, obvious to read, uh, looks really good. And then our sun location intent, we formulate the intent we care about. We then emit to this intent flow, which is very easily observed right here. And then all we do is say start activity intent. So I think we're good here. We could probably just relaunch things and see how it works. Uh, just so you guys know as well, if you haven't been following along, all of the uh, you know code is available on GitHub. You can go ahead and check it out. All this content will be there. So you'll see this commented out uh, code just so you have it. Feel free to pull it down, you know, open it in your own um, Android Studio, and then you can kind of get your hands set with it. So uh, here we are just signing in with one of these users to this API. As we sign in, we then see this signed in view. And if we click our location, we see that we are opening our Google Maps. It might take a minute because it's going to be doing so on, uh, on an emulator. Apologies if you hear my cats. And what's going on here? Hmm. I'm like, where are we? Okay, yeah, we are, um, uh, that didn't really seem to work. Let's see what's going on. Okay, so actually putting this info in, once we hit a breakpoint here and we see what our uh, you know, URI string is here, we see the lat long, popping those coordinates into Google Maps here puts us right in the middle of, uh, well, not the middle, but somewhere in the ocean here. So I guess, you know, the data here obviously is not, uh, you know, relevant to someone's location because I guess it's not worth it. Um, so let's just go ahead and let's just take like NYC lat long, pretty straightforward here. Uh, so we can just go ahead, I'm just gonna copy that even though it's not the correct thing we want, uh, the correct format. And I'm just gonna duplicate this and very easily comment out, you know, the second one. Well, maybe we'll comment out the first one uh, and I'm just going to go ahead and paste this here. So we'll take this information and it will be uh, in place of that. And then this one here, copy it. And we're going to go ahead and just delete that. I'm just hard coding a value here so that we can get maybe something on the emulator that looks a little bit nicer. Now, one thing that we'll notice here is that, you know, this is degrees and like coordinates and that kind of stuff. So when you're the, the latitude deals with north and south and the longitude deals with uh, east and west. So because we are going north, this is a positive number. If we were going south, it would be a negative number. And because we are going west here, this is a negative number. So um, we need to actually put a little bit of a negative sign there so that we're actually in the correct location. Maybe we'll see what happens uh, if we don't put that. Uh, after this run, I'd like to see where the positive 74 is. So anyway, bouncing around here, thank you for sticking with me. Um, not the most glorious first go, but we go ahead and click the location. We can very easily see, yep, yeah, you know, if you're familiar, that looks like New York to me. Yep, and if we kind of just click and, you know, zoom out, we can see that we are somewhere, uh, you know, in New York City there. So that's pretty cool. Um, you know, Google Maps is, is working as intended. We just had it, you know, configured with some bad data. I'm go ahead and remove that minus sign here just for a little, you know, curiosity, see what that is. See where we land on the Google Maps. Hmm, it's taking a minute to load. Uh, so, oh yeah, okay, look, we are uh-huh, is this like Russia area? Uh, no, okay. So here, curious stand. All right, well, um, not too familiar with that area. I've heard of Uzbekistan, Pakistan, some other areas nearby. So uh, yeah, 
you could very easily see that when we are in the positive 74, we are definitely on the eastern side there, right? So we got to go all the way across here to find New York, all the way down there, which is at the negative location. So I'll leave this comment here for you, New York City, Lat Long, uh, just so that you have it. Everything is working as expected. We just have, um, you know, a little bit uh, of, of additional help we need to do to get our content working properly. But um, that is about it. That's all we have here for you folks. Uh, location intent, Google Maps intent, very straightforward, works like every other intent. Just want to supply it with whatever information that you can provide. So um, if you made it this far in the video, I'd really appreciate a like. Subscribe if you're brand new. Please comment real fan if you made it this far so I know you made it all the way through. Really appreciate all the support. Catch you guys in the next one. Thanks.